All right, so our pasta has rested in the fridge for half an hour. Um, I'm going to use a pasta machine to roll this out. You can use a rolling pin if you want, you just won't get it. If you don't have a pasta machine, you, you won't get it quite as thin as you would from a um, pasta machine. But don't worry too much. As long as you can get it kind of thin enough for your lasagna, then, then you're all right. Um, so if you do have a pasta machine, you're going to roll it out with a rolling pin to start with. And then if, you, if you're not using a pasta machine, you just keep going, rolling it, turning it, rolling it, and you just keep going. It just it takes you a little while if, you, if you're using a rolling pin rather than the machine. If I now try to roll all of this through the pasta machine at the same time, it would not end well, because we'd end up with too much, too much pasta. So I'm gonna probably do a quarter of this at a time. These pasta machines, you can pick them up from any kind of cooking shop. Um, and actually these days, a lot of the big supermarkets will sell them as well. You can pick them up for about 20 quid. Um, but they're great. If you, if you get into making your own pasta regularly, they're a really good tool to use. So all you do is there's settings on the sides and you start off on the widest, on the widest setting. Feed that through, helps if you go the right way. And then just gradually make the gap in the middle thinner and thinner. until you get to the final setting. So if you were going to do it with a rolling pin, you could probably get away with it being that thickness. Because we've got this, we can get it even thinner. So that is now on the smallest setting, and I'll show you what happens when you feed it through now. So you, what you want to do is, when it gets to this kind of thinness, hold it in your hand like that. Feed that through, and then use one hand to kind of feed the pasta in and the other hand to rotate it. And there you go, there's one sheet of pasta. So what you could now do, if you wanted to, cut it up and then you could cut it into strips if you were gonna do something like tagliatelle, but because we're using it for lasagna, I'll just square the edges off. Probably cut that in half, because my dish is square. And now we've got some lovely fresh pasta sheets. Any scraps of dough, save them all, put them all together, put them into a bowl and then you'll get one more, you have one more sheet out at the end. Welcome back for video number four this week and this is how to build the lasagna. So we've got our ragu sauce that we showed you how to make earlier on in the week. We've got our bechamel sauce that we've done a video on as well. We've got our lovely sheets of fresh pasta. And then the only added ingredient is some hard Italian cheese that's been grated down. Unfortunately, we don't have much of that left, so I've also had to use some red Leicester cheese that I've grated as well. You can use any cheese really, but best one is an Italian hard one that you can grate down. If you can't get that, use any other. 
So we're just going to show you how to build the lasagna. So you want a couple of ladles of ragu in the bottom. Just try and make sure that all the bottom of your dish is covered. Another half a ladle in there. A ladle of bechamel sauce. And then a sprinkling of cheese. Okay, and you're going to do that two or three times depending on how big your dish is and how much sauce you have. Um, and then we'll show you the, the top layer in a minute. Every time you do a layer of sauce, pop a layer of pasta over. If your pasta doesn't quite fit the dish, you can just trim pieces off. To cover a layer. And that's the beauty of working with the fresh pasta is it's really easy to cut and fit as you need it. So every layer, just a couple of ladles of ragu, some bechamel, some cheese, and then your pasta over the top. Final layer is just, we don't put any ragu on the top layer, just bechamel sauce. This is where you're going to get that lovely caramelised golden colour on the top. Okay, so the rest of your bechamel sauce goes on there, and then use a spoon, just spread it out all the way over. Make sure it's all covered right into the corners. Perfect. And then just finish that off with whatever cheese you've got left. If you're using fresh pasta, you want to bake that in the oven on 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. If you're using dried pasta, you're probably looking at more like 40 to 45 minutes. So after your lasagna's had the right amount of time in the oven, it should come out looking something a little bit like that. Mm. Looks delicious. Mm. And there we go. There is our homemade lasagna. One appetito.